There's one more in here. Right. Combat Tactics 101. I forgot the full name of this Spectre here, guys. So we're either going to call it the Xenomorph Queen Light Spectre, or we're going to call it the fucking Praying Mantis Light Spectre. Either one suits it fucking well. But yeah. Anyway. Combat Tactics 101. So the best thing to do against this guy is use a Blessed Boon. I don't have one on me. Or a Blessed Potion. Because it gives you electric defences. And you want to use one of these as well, a mineral tea, because it'll provide you extra defense. Because these guys hit like bricks, and they do stagger you down very, very easily as well if you get caught. And they're agile and fast. You don't want to get hit by them. I promise you that. So best thing to use against is like all other light enemies, vulnerable to spiritual damage. So a spiritual varnish, uh, decay varnish as well. I've already got decay, well edged great axe, so... We're going to go straight into it. Now these are very fast. These are like the Tawanasaurs of uh, Light Spectres right here. So he's going to lunge forward and do like a Praying Mantis front forward like two attack. There it is. You see it? Oh, with a third attack actually. That was his third one, but it was a slow combo for the third hit. Normally does a double swing as well. He does like a flurry, wide arc flurry with his little Praying Mantis things. Come on. There it is, the fourth combo, right there. Very slow attack, just like a Tyrannosaur. Very slow on the fourth attack. So it gives you a good opening to counter and stuff like that, or brace and stuff. Come on. Do the other one. There it is. There's the wide flurry and stuff. Do you see it? Just going crazy, swinging them things away. So yeah, a well-timed brace will easily parry this guy. Little daggers that you want to avoid. That's like the executioner move as if... If he hits you with those guys, because it might not look fast, but he actually did more combos, like a six combo, four combo right there. Because he stung those things out twice, so you want to watch out. That's, it. That's probably his most damaging move, up next to the swings, the tr double swings that he does. Don't want to get hit by that. Right, so let's begin. When he does a move, that's your opening to either get a kick in, if you don't have a counter strike or anything. And then stumble him right there. See? Stumble him, boom, move back. I could have just easily killed him with the execution, but we're going to give you a better guide, obviously. Just let him swing away. Just keep your distance if need be. If you're comfortable with brace and stuff, just brace him like that. And then just finish him off with a brace, capitalise on that, and then boom, he's dead. That's it. That's as basic as if you, if you need out else, that's I can't give you it. That's as basic as, as I could put it, to be fair. That's his move set. That's all it does. Just keep your distance. If you know the timings, it takes a while to practice. But if you know them, then boom, just capitalize on those timings. Hit a brace because brace will take half his impact bar back down straight away. So that's going to stagger him instantly and give you that opening to capitalize with more attacks and finish him off. And if you can't, just rinse and repeat. Do the same thing again and you're good to go. That's it. And I hope this guy.